We want to be getting the best wide receiver on the Kansas City Chiefs off of waivers and onto our fantasy rosters. That's right. It's not Kadarius Tony. It's not Marquez Valdez Scantling. It's not Justin Ross. It's not any of your favorite Kansas City Chiefs except for Rashi Rice. Rashi Rice is the wide receiver that you want. He set season high in pass snaps this past week. He went four for 72. He did not have a touchdown, but he has two touchdowns on the season through six weeks. That's pretty good. And set a season high 72 receiving yards. This is a player 81 PFF grade 2.75 yards per route run. That's nearly double what Josh Downs was. If I'm prioritizing Rashi Rice or Josh Downs, it's clearly Rashi Rice. You're tying yourself to a better offense. He's been playing better for this team. He's improved over the course of the last few weeks. Like we saw 22, 17, 10, and now 25 pass snaps. So you've seen usage increased. We've, we saw a season high in yards per reception. He caught all four of his targets. And this is a player who's had four or uh, five of his six games, at least four targets. So he's getting usage. He's getting volume. He's improving his role. He played out wide a season high amount as well. 52% of the time he was playing out wide. So playing just a little bit more and that's going to get him deeper plays. And that's going to allow his 4.5 speed, which is 63rd percentile, but also, you know, he can get out of breaks really easily. He has a 95th percentile burst score and a big catch radius, 86th percentile. So Rashi Rice is a major priority for us. Let's look at some of his metrics here. So he leads all wide receivers. Rashi Rice leads all wide receivers in target rate, 37% target rate. So when he is on the field and playing, he is getting the ball thrown his way. That's what you want for these young receivers who are trending upward. You want to see high efficiency because the efficiency is going to dip when they get more volume, but you want to see these high type of spike efficiency weeks from the Rashi Rices of the world. He was a second round pick, so he's got the draft capital. He's seventh among all wide receivers in red zone targets, and he's only played 93 pass snaps through six weeks, 15 per game on average. He's getting a lot of usage around the goal line in the red zone. His target accuracy is seventh yards per route run. I mentioned was between 2.6, 2.7. That's 14th among all wide receivers. And he is third among all wide receivers in route win rate. 58.2% of his routes. He's won. That's a big deal when you're playing with Patrick Mahomes. If you can win your routes, Mahomes is going to look his way, especially because he's get he has the burst. He's getting out of his breaks. He's winning. That's the deal. You want guys who win. And so if we're planning on a second half of the season breakout, Rashi Rice has given us all of the signals we need. So there's no reason for you to not have him on your fantasy roster, at least as a stash right now. Rashi Rice over Marvin Mims. Like, how can we trust Denver, the Denver Broncos to be playing Marvin Mims? He is fifth, sixth on the depth chart in some games. So Rashi Rice over Marvin Mims for now. That's why Marvin Mims is not on the show sheet tonight on the ad must add players. It's Rashi Rice. You need to make sure that this guy who's more than 60% available is off of waivers.